Today is the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. If you look on the calendar we use in the United States and in many other countries, on the left, we read from left to right. The first day of the week is Sunday. The seventh day of the week is Saturday. Now, um, for you Christians out there, the rabbi from Nazareth, even in his death, he rested on the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. The Sabbath did not start with the commandments that Moses, our teacher, brought down from the mountain. It started in the Garden of Eden. Read it in the first few chapters of Genesis. Now, my topic is tithing. There are no churches in the Bible. I'm talking about the Bible that the rabbi from Nazareth used, and King David used, King Solomon, etc. There's no churches. Tithing is for the Levites, the descendants of Aaron, the brother of Moses, the older brother of Moses. So, who are you supposed to give a tithe to? What if you don't even go to church? What if you don't even go to a synagogue? Well, in the 14th chapter of Deuteronomy, it talks about tithing. And as in many other places in scripture, you're supposed to take one-tenth of the produce of your land the offspring of your livestock and you are supposed to give that to the Levite who is in your midst. He's serving you, he's teaching you. Now Levites um, have rules. They are not supposed to own any property, any houses. They're supposed to be provided for. And part of that provision is receiving from the people they serve, receiving food, livestock, etc. A tenth, a tenth of whatever they, they gain in their income. So the most fascinating thing that I don't hear anybody talking about ever in my long life is Deuteronomy 14 verse 24, 25, 26, where it says you are to bring your tithe at a certain uh, festival. You're supposed to bring it to the place where the Almighty chose to place his name. That would be Jerusalem. And it says if, you, if it's too far for you, if you can't carry this tithe there, you are supposed to convert your tithe to money, shekels, dollars, whatever money you use, and you're supposed to travel there to Jerusalem in the land of Israel, travel there with your family and celebrate there, and the money you took there that you gained from selling your tithes, you are supposed to spend there on any food, any drink you want. It's three verses in Deuteronomy 14, verse 24, 25, 26. And I will, I will put the verse uh, next to the video or in the description. And the best place to read scripture is on a website called Bible Hub. Why is it the best? Because they have so many different ways of studying it. They have an interlinear option where you can see the Hebrew word right next to the English word, the exact translation, how to pronounce it, divided into syllables, and it's, it's, it's fascinating, and you get the exact meaning, because things are always lost in translation. All right, so what am I trying to say? What's my point? My point is, Someone who is teaching and living the scriptures and benefiting you 
is supposed to get your time. But not just anybody. Somebody who's a Levite. So, why does it say that every three years on this certain holiday you're supposed to collect your tithes, convert them to money, to money, take them to Jerusalem and celebrate there and buy whatever food you want with that tithe money. You buy it and you eat it and you enjoy it, you and your family. Who are you buying it from? You're buying it from people who live and work in the land of Israel in the area of Jerusalem. So what does this what does this mean to me? I don't have a uh, personal rabbi right now. I, I of course study from several of them online. Um, what does this mean to me? I'm supposed to pay a tithe. So what do I do? I do what it says exactly here in scripture. I what, whatever comes in, you know, whether it's the, the stimulus check from the government, um, whether it's the social security check, whatever comes in, I take a tenth of it and I write it down and keep track of it and I spend it on food products that are produced in the land of Israel because this is the closest thing I could do to follow scripture. Things are not like they were, you know, 3,000 years ago. This is the closest I can come to following. So what happens? What's the result of this action? People who live in the land of Israel, who are producing food, are benefiting from this. And if you're concerned about that BDS movement, which is boycott, divest, and I forget what the S stands for. Anyway, that's just silly. Do you want the land of Israel where the rabbi from Nazareth uh, came from, uh, where, where Moses was? Do you want all that to end? No. So what's wrong with buying products, edible products, from Jerusalem with the tithe money? Think about it. This is supposed to be a nation here in the United States. And other nations as well say that they, you know, they have Judeo-Christian values. They live by the Bible. But I don't see it. There's a lot of things in our society that are not in the Bible. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Think about what I'm saying. If I'm missing something, please correct me.